Hi everybody, this is Spotlight Guy from AC Syndicate TV and today I'm going to show you how to do a fully restore on your Epic 4G Touch. This uh, is the, it's going to be the FB15 modem, kernel and ROM and uh, the only change from the previous release from Calculin is that it's going to have root. So I'm going to show you real quick what, uh, what I am running right now. Oops. As you can see, I am running Android 4.0.3, EKO2, uh, right there, FB17. So I'm running the, uh, the most recent leak of Ice Cream Sandwich on my phone. All right, so to get this started, you're going to need to click on the link in the description of this video, and it'll take you to, of course, XDA Developers. And uh, this is brought to you by SF Hub. So make sure you give him uh, your thanks. All right, so as you can see, Odin Tar FB15 will be your modem kernel and ROM full restore rooted. So uh, once you sc or start scrolling down here, you're gonna get like your instructions, everything that this thing does, and basically what you want to go down to is the download the FB15 full restore one click self extractor. Click on that. And while it's downloading, also make sure that you have your Samsung drivers and 7-Zip installed. If you haven't already, then I'm going to have those links posted in the description of this video as well. Alright, so once that is downloaded, you're going to navigate to the whichever folder that you put it in. And it'll, it'll you'll see this 7-Zip file right here. What you're going to do is right-click it. Let's go to 7-Zip and extract here or wherever else you want it to be extracted to. I extracted here so it'll stay in the same folder as the original file. And I already extracted mine so once you are done with that you're going to get this Odin-OC folder and you're going to double click on that. And then double click on the application. And it'll, you'll get something like this. Epic 4G Touch FB15 Restore Rooted. Alright, this time you're going to go back to your phone and you are going to power off. And you're, you're going to know it's fully powered down once you feel the vibration in your phone and uh, your lights on the bottom of the phone are blacked out, which there you go. Alright, now you're going to want to go in download mode. To do that, you have to press volume down and power and hold it. Alright, it'll take you to this warning screen. Uh, at this screen, you're going to press up on the volume. And there you go. There is the download screen. Alright, so you're going to take your USB cord and plug it into your phone. And uh, you should get something like that. It won't be exactly. It won't say exactly what mine says. Possibly it might say something a little different, but as long as you have some kind of indicator that you are plugged in and ready to go, and uh, it is tracking your phone on your computer, then you're you're good. All right, and then all you do from here is press start and wait. Now this is my first time doing this, so I'm not sure how long it's going to take, but I will come back to you once it is done. Alright, so that didn't take that long at all, like six or seven minutes on my computer. So, once it's fully uh, finished with the uh, restore process, it's gonna say pass, and you're gonna get a screen like this on your phone. It's resetting, getting everything all put together. All right, now we're booting up. At this time, you could also unplug your USB cable. So let's bring my phone back down here. And we're gonna wait up, wait for this boot up process. Now the first, uh, the first boot up after you do this, it might take a little longer than usual. Don't worry about it, it's completely normal. It happens for a lot of things that you do with your phone.
All right, we have uh, installing applications here. So all the stock applications are now going to be put back to the phone. All right, it worked. We are booted back up. Everything is loading right now. It looks like it's still ice cream sandwich. And uh, let's go to settings. Yeah, voicemail, got it. Alright, Android version 4.0.3, and for some reason that sh Oh, come on. Alright. Maybe I should have waited a little longer. <laughs> Alright, so anyway, Android 4.0.3, FB15, FB15, yep. Alright, so if it worked. I am completely uh, fully restored. I'm running FB15 and yeah, it all it worked so that, that's great. That's awesome news. All right, if you liked this video uh, and you like all my other videos that I make, then please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Go to all my social networking sites, uh, tw Facebook, Twitter, Google+, subscribe to those so you can keep up to date with everything that's going on. Visit my blog. I'll have uh, news stories posted on there and the videos that are made on this channel. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's basically about it. Oh, and if you liked this case that is currently on my phone, it's the Ballistic case. I did a review for it, and I will post it up on this channel really soon. All right, as always, this is... Spotlight Guy, signing out.